So to complete the bonus tasks, we need to create a DHCP pool on the customer routers to allocate IP addresses to the PCs in the relevant subnets. We need to configure the customer routers with NAT so that the PCs can access the internet. And we need to verify that things are working by making sure that PC1 and PC2 can ping Cisco.com. So on customer router one, show IP interface brief. No IP address is configured on gigabit 000. So we need to go on to that interface, configure an IP address of 10111 slash 24 mask and no shut of the interface. So show IP interface brief and now shows us that the interface is up up and it's configured with this IP address. So let's configure a DHCP pool. So IP DHCP pool. I'm gonna give it a name of PC. You could call this anything. In the exam, follow the instructions in the question. But here we can configure it with any name. PC is fine for this example. Network that we're going to configure is 10110 with a slash 24 mask. Default gateway or default router will be the local router. A DNS server will be google.com. So don't forget to configure the DNS server in your DHCP pool. Now that that's configured, well, let's uh, verify that the PC gets an IP address. So on the PC's configuration, I'm gonna configure it to use DHCP. Go to desktop, command prompt, type ipconfig, we can see that an IP address has been allocated to the PC. Back on the router, notice we see that there was an address conflict for that IP address. So the IP address that was allocated to the PC is this. Now you could have created a DHCP excluded range and excluded IP addresses in a specific range. Uh, that would force the router to allocate IP addresses starting at 11. But in this example, it's worked without that configuration. The router did a ping and saw that it had this IP address. So it allocated the next IP address in the range. So that looks good. The PC will hopefully be able to ping the router, which it can but it won't be able to ping google.com at this point because we need to configure NAT on the router. So on customer router one, interface serial one slash zero, this is gonna be our NAT outside interface. Interface gigabit zero zero zero, this is gonna be our NAT inside interface. And then we need to type IP NAT inside source list. Specify an access list. I'm going to use access list one to keep it simple. And I'm going to overload the serial interface. In other words, I'm going to enable PAT or port address translation. So that's now done. The next step is to create an access list. So access list one, permit any. Now you could make that more specific, but that's okay for this example. The serial interface is the outside NAT interface. Gigabit 000 is the inside NAT interface. We've got port address translation configured for any devices. So back on our PC, previously the ping to Google didn't work, but now it works because we've done a NAT translation. Can it ping cisco.com? Yes, it can. 
So we've successfully configured this side of the network. I'll save that configuration. Let's do something similar on router two. So customer router two. Show IP interface brief. The router doesn't have an IP address configured on gigabit 000. So interface gigabit 000, IP address is gonna be 10.1.2.1 slash 24 mask. No shut of the interface. Interface has come up. So show IP interface brief. Interface is configured. Configure a DHCP pool. In this example, I'll configure an exclusion range. So specify the low IP address to the high IP address to exclude. And then I'll say IP DHCP pool, give the pool a name. Network is gonna be 10120 with the relevant subnet mask. Default router is gonna be 10121. DNS server is gonna be Google. So show run. There's our DHCP configuration. Show IP DHCP binding. No bindings at the moment. The PC needs to be configured to use DHCP. So I'll configure the PC to use DHCP, then go to desktop. IP config shows us that the PC got IP address 10.1.2.11. So notice it wasn't 10.1.2.1. It's 11 because of this exclusion range. We then need to configure NAT to allow the PC to get to the internet. So interface serial 010, IP NAT outside, interface gigabit 000, IP NAT inside, IP NAT inside, source list, access list one, interface serial 010 overload. Access list one permit any, keeping it very much the same as router one. So on PC two, can we ping Google? Yes, we can. Can we ping Cisco.com? Yes, we can. So PC two can ping both the DNS server as well as Cisco.com. I'll save the configuration of router two and router one as well as ISP1 and ISP3.